Hi everybody, good afternoon again. How are you? I've been waiting for you to come to my place. Waiting for you to come to my place. Wherever you are, wherever you're from, I've been waiting for you to come to my place. And if you want to hear a story, well, I've been waiting for you. And if you want to sing a song, well, I've been waiting for you, wherever you're from, wherever you've come. I've been waiting for you to come to this place. All right, my friends, today I have a story about autumn. Look at the beautiful colors of autumn. Right now, we are in autumn. So you can see all the beautiful autumn colors, leaves. All of Halloween and lots of scary things like jack o' lanterns and witches' pots and scary ghosties and skeletons. Ooh, that's autumn. That's what we do in the autumn. So I thought I'd read you a little story and then we can sing a little song. Burn Hollow Autumn. Autumn is a beautiful time of year. In Fern Hollow, the trees of windy wood turn golden red and orange, and there's a wonderful scent in the air. Unfortunately, the fallen leaves do cause the animals something of a problem. Of course, you can always make a little bonfire of the leaves, but it's best to check which way the wind is blowing first. He's making a bonfire of the leaves, but oh, I think the wind is blowing it all the way over here. See, he says, look, be careful. Careful where the wind is blowing. In Canada, we're only allowed to do that in certain areas, not everywhere. Jasper and Patch, Tugger and Monty decided it would be fun to raid an orchard. Unfortunately for them, PC Hoppet came by on his bicycle and caught them, all except for Jasper the Squirrel, who was very quick at climbing up and down trees and managed to run away. Oh, look, he still apples and he ran away. But his friend got caught. Oh, dear. You don't need to steal apples. You can go to a place where they pick apples, and you can pick your own apples. Yeah. Or go to the store and buy them. Mommy will take you, I'm sure. In the heart of Windy Wood, Mr. Chips and his son, Chucky, were cutting down trees and chopping them up for firewood in preparation for winter. The hard work had made them feel very hungry and they were all pleased when Mrs. Chips shouted that soup was ready. Ooh, look, they are working very hard. Look at that. Chopping down trees and then chopping up wood for firewood. And yay, soup is ready. I like soup in the, in the fall. And I squash soup or potato soup. Or turnip soup that we just read the story for. Those animals didn't like the turnips, but I like them in a soup. Their parents, Mr. and Mrs. Thimble, oops, Dilly and Pud's Halloween costumes were the best in the village. This was hardly surprising. Here they are, look. As their parents, Mr. and Mrs. Thimble, were the Fern Hollow Tailors. Dilly and Pud's friends were dressed in pixie or goblin costumes, and some of them wore masks so that you couldn't tell who they were. Look at that, that's fun. That happens in autumn time, just like here. Some of them painted their faces, and some of them wearing masks. So much fun. Mrs. Prickles had taken a day off from her job to gather the fruit and nuts in Windy Wood. 
The expedition had been very successful, and with the help of Polly, Mrs. Prickles had managed to fill her basket so well that there was hardly room for another acorn. Oh, look at that. They worked so well together, they picked all the acorns from the tree. Now they have lots for the winter, and they don't have to go looking for all the acorns that don't last through the winter. They have to pack them up in their tree. And that's the end of the story of Autumn in Fern Hollow. And in Fern Hollow, they talked about picking apples. And look what I have. There's my apples. See? My little apples on the tree. Can we count how many apples Vicky has on her tree? What color is Vicky's apple tree? Did you say brown? Very good. Vicky's apple tree is brown. What color are Vicky's apples on this tree? Red. Very good. They're red. Let's count. One apple. Two apples. Three apples. Four apples. Five apples. Six apples. Seven apples on this apple tree. So here's the song, and you're going to have to help me. When I say shake that tree, I want you to shake like this and help Vicky shake those apples out of the tree. Ready? Way up high in an apple tree, two little apples smiled at me. So I shook that tree. Ready? Shake. Shook that tree as hard as I could. <gasps> Down came the apples. <clears throat> Mm, were they good? Very good. Let's try that again. Here we go. Pull the apples back up in the tree. One apple, two apples. Ready? Way up high in an apple tree, two little apples smiled at me. So I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came the apples. There they are. Oh. Oh. Mm -mm. Good. Very good, my friends. Apples in the apple tree. That is autumn for you and me. I'll see you another time. Wave your hands now. See you later, alligator in a wild crocodile. Bye. So long.